Okay, before we start, guys, thank you so much for the 700 subscribers. I mean, I know it's nothing, but to me, it's so much, um, for real. I mean, I'm thrilled that right now. 700 subscribers, mm, I love it. Thank you very much, all of you who subscribed in this channel. More videos are about to come. What up, YouTube? How is it going, guys? It's your boy Skeda. Welcome to my crib. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Skeda. I produce electronic music. I make free sample packs, and of course, I make YouTube videos. If you wanna learn new things, expand your creativity, you blah, blah, blah. expand your creativity, or just entertain yourself, then make sure to smash the subscribe button and hit the bell so you don't miss anything. Yeah. And real quick before we start, let me know if you have any ideas for a future video or any production tip that you would like to share with everyone. So guys, today I'm gonna show you how to layer bases together in dubstep. I have a track that I'm working on and in a few parts I have a lot of sounds playing together so it's a good idea to show you what I did there and how you can use different sounds to make your track sound more professional and more exciting, yeah. So with a lot of talking guys, let's dive into the project. So guys, first let's listen a little bit to the track and the drop and then we're gonna see one by one the sounds and how to layer together. May God have mercy on this soul! So, this is Dirty Phonics No Mercy from the Disciple remixes. Yeah, I'm trying to remix that track. This only works, I don't know how it's gonna end up. So, let's take one by one, one by one the sounds that I use. So, here I have a sample from the Dirty Phonics stems. Okay, it sounds dope, of course. And here I made this sound. Let's loop it. Mm, I think it works well. Yeah, those two work well together. So, what else we can do? Also have this sound here. And this sound. So, I have four different sounds. And all of them are different, okay? They are not similar. So, the first thing I would like to show you is the EQ, okay? We need to EQ and clean our sounds in order to make space for the other sounds to sit on, okay? That simple. What I did here, I, I cut a little bit of the low frequencies and a little bit in the mid, in the low mid, okay? To make the sound a little bit thinner, that's the trick. Once I did that, in the next sound, almost the same. Also, very important. Let's say, for example, you have three, four different sounds like me, okay. Well, you need, the not the structure, the values, to be kind of the same, okay. So, that gives you more chances for the two sounds to work better together. So. Three, four, five, six. I mean, if that here was in triplets, I don't know if that would work the same with a sound that it's not in triplets. You know what I mean, yeah. So, the structure of the sound and the... 
and the values are very very important after that um I have this sound here that's the typical script bass I think I've I showed you that in the previous video yeah how to make it also another tip your um, choose the sound that is that has the more high frequencies for example this one yeah that's a thin sound and actually it has a lot of high frequencies and not at all low frequencies sounds like this you can use in sounds like this you can boost the sides okay you can boost a little bit the side frequencies so your track sounds bigger using that sound you can even use a little bit of panning I mean if you have a lot of sounds in one particular point why not Another important thing for the drop to make it sound a little bit more professional, use chants like this. Hey, ha, hey, hey. I know they are very subtle, but believe me, it makes the track sound a little bit better. Yeah. After that, you can also use inside the track risers and downlifters. Yeah, it sounds very better. A lot of better, actually. So, guys, this is what I want. I wanted to show you four different sounds. The sounds with the higher frequencies. Try to open them a little bit, and even you even use panning or use something like uh, dimension expander. Also, a very good trick. You can also use chorus. From the effects, where is it? Uh, uh, uh. I, can I can't find it. Why? Yeah, here it is. You can also use chorus, maybe even reverb. I don't know. Why not? So, four different sounds, as I said. <laughs> As for the mixing guys, okay, you have to choose, um, I mean, one of the three or four sounds you're gonna use, one of them has to be the main sound, okay? Right now, the main sound, I guess, it's this one. You can define that by the volume, of course, and how thin are the other sounds and how thin is your main sound I mean my main sound has all the spectrum almost okay so guys this is it this is what I want to show you on the next video because of course every week I upload a new video probably I'm gonna do something with sound design I don't know let me know in the comments guys what would you like to see after that any any ideas whatever you have in your mind yeah so guys thank you for watching if you know anyone who can benefit from this video don't forget to share it with him yeah see you next time